Hey guys, today I'm going to install a drain valve on my uh, Rubbermaid 100 gallon stock tank that I'm going to use for an aquaponic system. Uh, I'm going to put this aquaponic system in my birdhouse. I have quail up here in these cages and uh, so I'm indoors here in a, basically a shed and I thought having a uh, valve on here that I could attach a garden hose to to simply drain out the door outside uh, would be handy if I ever need to drain this tank so uh, I have a hundred gallon Rubbermaid stock tank uh, this should work on most of the Rubbermaid stock tanks that are out there uh, they have various sizes up to 300 gallon I believe but anyway I think this should work on most of those <clears throat> Uh, I have the tank laying on its side right now, just so you can see where I'm, where I'm working easier. At the bottom of the tank, you can see it comes with a drain plug right here. Uh, there's a bulkhead that goes through the wall of the tank, and there's a plug here. So what I'm going to do is put a reducer in here so that I can hook up a standard... Um, you know garden hose valve on there but I've heard and read through several reviews that these bulkheads sometimes leak on these brand new Rubbermaid stock tanks so while I'm taking this apart I'm going to pull this bulkhead out make sure the uh, gasket on the inside of the tank is good and then uh, put some thread sealer tape around the threads of this bulkhead to ensure that it doesn't leak so uh, I already got this loosened up you'll need a big pair of channel locks or a pipe wrench or something to get this loose and you'll also need two hands to hold the inside of the bulkhead which is right here so that it doesn't spin when you're taking that that uh, nut out the off the outside so I will pause and uh, show you what it looks like when I get it out all right, got the bulkhead removed. Uh, again, bear with me here. I'm working one-handed. <laughs> but the uh, gasket looks like it's in perfect condition, which uh, I would expect. The tank is brand new. Um, threads look good. So what I'm going to do is put some, uh, you know, standard Teflon tape thread sealer around the threads of the uh the bulkhead and um put it back in through the hole here thread that nut on through the outside here you can't see it of course but uh thread this on through the outside tighten it up really good make sure we got a good seal so it doesn't leak and then uh we'll get to the part where we put the reducer in and and the valve Okay, so I've uh, put the thread sealer around the threads of the bulkhead. I uh, just wanted to note that I'm kind of surprised these don't come with thread sealer on the threads of the bulkhead from uh, the factory. I mean, the uh, the drain plug came with, you know, the same sealer on the threads. So uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just a little surprised that the bulkhead itself did not have that on there. And uh, I don't know, maybe that's why a lot of the reviews um, showed that these uh, these stock tanks leaked when they're brand new. But I'm not sure. I mean, it's got a pretty good pretty good seal on there, so a uh, pretty good gasket, I mean. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd point that out, that probably a good idea if you have this apart anyway, just to take a few minutes and a few pennies worth of, uh, of thread sealer and throw it on there. All right, bulkheads installed, good and tight. Uh, I got the channel locks on here and tightened it up real good. Actually, uh, tightened it up tighter than it was when um, when I brought her home from Tractor Supply. So maybe that's another reason these uh, might leak for some folks when I get them home. Maybe these just aren't tightened up enough to get that uh, gasket on the inside good and snug. I don't know. But um, good and tight here on the inside. It's nice and snug. I don't think we'll get any leaks out of that. So the next step is to put a reducer uh, 
in, in where that drain plug was here. So what I got is, uh, let's see if I can get a good shot. It's an inch and a quarter by three quarter. There you go. Inch and a quarter by three quarter reducer. All right. Uh, what this will allow us to do is, again, we're going to put uh, thread sealer tape on, on the threads here. Screw it into the hole here where the drain plug was. All right. Then we're going to get a valve of some kind. I'm using a um, boiler drain valve here. It's just, I like it because it's nice and short and compact. I don't want it sticking way out of the tank like this or I'll trip over to something. So uh, the shorter the better. But anyway, again, thread sealer on the threads. And this will thread onto here like so. And then we'll have a... Uh, a valve on the outside of our tank and we'll be able to drain it with the garden hose going out the door piece of cake installation complete um, one thing to note is when I was screwing the um, the reducer into the bulkhead it, the thread seemed really oh hello hi, hi. <laughs> the uh, threads for the reducer going into the bulkhead it seemed really tight at first and i was like oh my god i think you know maybe i got the wrong size here but uh, i threaded it in a few turns and then backed it out and the threads looked perfect you know nothing was uh getting cross threaded or anything so um uh, even with teflon tape i i got it in there i screwed it all the way down nice and tight actually i'm actually glad it's nice and tight um you know we don't want any leaks so and got the valve on here i got the valve kind of cocked to the side as you can see so that when it's laying flat on the ground like this uh it'd be a little easier to get a hose on it if it was sticking straight down uh you know you're not going to get a hose on it from the bottom so i just did it like that so i can get a hose on there garden hose and drain it out the door so hey hope this helps anybody else that's uh looking for information on how to do this i was uh simply looking to find out what the size of the threads were for this reducer and uh, it was kind of hard to find online so I thought maybe this would help someone else out trying to put a valve on a uh, Rubbermaid stock tank. Thanks for watching.